Welcome to A Little Bit Kitchen. My name is Mark. This week we're in the back roads of beautiful British Columbia and I'm teaching you how to zero in a rifle to get ready for the hunting season. I also have a nice rack of lamb to cook on fire tonight, so stay tuned. It's gonna be a really good time. So I just installed this new scope on the rifle, so we need to zero this in. I am going to set up a 25 yard rifle target because it is a new scope, so I'm not really sure how close to the zero it is. So you always want to start with 25 and then move your way up to 100 yards. Here we have a 22 Ruger rifle and it has a Magpul stock with a little compartment here which I really like because it comes with a cheek riser and it's perfect for this scope setup. So let's get started. So first check with your range finder to make sure that it's actually 25 yards. So I found a stump that's at 24 yards. Uh, so I'm just gonna go and set it up. So today we're shooting some Mini Mag 22 LRs. I'm just going to use my binocular bag to keep my rifle steady. You can also use a sandbag or whatever else you have. As long as it's steady and it's not moving, you should be good. Don't forget your earplugs. So we're going to shoot three shots and then we're going to go and check. Okay, so we're on the target, but we're very, very low. Okay, so we're about 21 units MOA off. It needs to come up 21 units up. And my scope measures in mils. So you have to do 21 divided by 3.6 to get the accurate number. We have 5.8 millimeters to go up. So on here, we bring this up. One two, three, four, five, six. Let's go see. So our group moved up very little. 24 clicks. Okay, so we're do, gonna do 24 clicks up. And let's see what this does. All right, we're good. We're right in the middle on five shots. I'll go and show you. Look at that, baby. Okay, now that I got it all zeroed out at 25 yards, let's have some fun. I found some clay plates. I set them up beside the target there. Let's see if we can get them. Now that's an accurate rifle. Let's go check it out. So I shot all the plates and I got everything in the bullseye. So that's a pretty good group. I'm satisfied with that. It's time to cook some food. So the weather is kind of switching around on me and it looks like it's gonna rain. So I'm gonna have to get off at the top of this mountain and uh, go find some uh, isolation here. Cause if I stay on top here, I won't be able to cook anything. That's guaranteed. Anyways, we got all of our tools ready for the hunting season. So I'm very satisfied with that. But uh, we still need to cook a delicious meal because this is a cooking channel. So let's do it. So we've come off the mountain. 
and I found a little trail here so let's go see where this goes I really love how green it is around here all right well we found the spot a little bit trashy but it's got a nice river view here it is raining so I'm gonna have to back this car up level level it out and um, take out the awning there's a trailer over here let's go check it out and I don't know if anyone's there or not I guess that's an abandoned trailer. I would have thought this place would have more campers, but I guess it's all for me. I don't really like the wind, but I'm gonna have to handle it. I have a nice rack of lamb to cook and I have a Dutch oven. So I was thinking about it and since I'm underneath this awning, I don't really want to have a fire close because then everything is going to start smelling inside here. So I'm going to try to see if my little propane burner can handle the weight of this Dutch oven okay so I gathered everything I need here I'm gonna bring it outside on the bike rack and we're gonna get cooking here so we have a rack of lamb we're gonna start marinating this Nice Dijon to start. It's a nice Cajun mix. Salt. All right, so our lamb is beautifully marinated. Just waiting for this Dutch oven to reach temperature and we're gonna actually try to roast like an oven in here. Beautiful asparagus. Some nice olive oil. While the lamb is slowly cooking, I'm gonna get the asparagus blanched and I'm gonna make a uh, kombucha gastric, which is usually a gastric is just a reduction of uh, vinegar and sugar, but I am going to make it with kombucha and honey. Salt, 30 seconds. And then on a cold tray, we're gonna let these cool in the air as fast as we can. Usually you would need some ice water, but I don't have any. So this blanching process sets the chlorophyll and makes the vegetable look nice and vibrant. So we have some sweet potato puree. Add some salt, some butter, infuse with some 
garlic and rosemary. Delicious. So we have a nice kombucha with cherry and plum. And there you go. Now we're gonna reduce this with some honey and it's gonna become a nice, thick, sweet and sour sauce. Some delicious organic honey. Our lamb is looking nice. We did a Cajun Chicago style. And now if we just turn off the oven here, the residual heat of the Dutch oven will continue to cook this. It should be good by the time this cools down. Okay, so we're at 120. We're gonna pull this beautiful lamb and we're gonna let it rest. I'm gonna make a little garlic, parsley and goat cheese spread. I really like eating goat cheese with lamb. Put the garlic inside. I'm gonna chop some, some parsley. Now we have a nice garlic, parsley, goat cheese. Our gastric is almost there. I'm just gonna mount this with a little bit of butter. Okay, well this was probably the most uncomfortable episode I've ever filmed. Now let's try this. Mm. These little green onions just blanched and finished in butter, delicious too. Try the goat cheese. Mm. This plum and cherry kombucha gastric is very good. Perfectly cooked. That Dutch oven really retains the heat perfectly. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at that big bubble of water there. At least I know my awning's still waterproof. Okay, I'm all ready for bed. See you guys in the morning. Good morning. Okay, let's get out there and uh, go for a little mini bike.
pulled back down and starting to rain. That was fun, apart from uh, forgetting gloves. Very cold. But uh, we just made it back in time. It's starting to rain, so I'm gonna pack up and get out of here. All right, this marks the end of this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed the Dutch oven lamb recipe. We will see you next week, next Saturday. Peace.